I've almost had my badge removed and I've never spoken about it before because after that experience, I was terrified, so I was silent about it for over a year. Here's pretty much what I'll be talking about in this video. And if a developer is watching this, please don't just make assumptions from the first 30 seconds of the video because I care about the Royal High community and I want to see it grow again. Because when, when that happens, everyone benefits from it. So a lot has happened in the community, especially in the past week. I'm not going to be going over all of it because some of it is not my place to speak and others have already been explained very well by other creators. I just want to put in my personal experience because it's something new that hasn't been said yet. I'm not going to go completely in depth because the first time it happened I was really really upset and it took me months to get past it but seeing how my creator friends are having similar struggles reminded me of my unresolved experience as a content creator i've struggled with the lack of new content the last three years most updates were just reuse content from the year before exactly the same just a direct copy and paste a lot of the tips and tricks videos tutorials it was just a re-upload with minor changes because well they gave us the same update so i could just use my time more efficiently to produce fresh, interesting videos. Uh, I've had my videos prepared for last year's 2023 New Year's update after they said that there will be an update coming, but nothing came. And it was annoying because it took time and effort to prepare the videos, write scripts, make six thumbnails. I ended up making a video that was just everything I just said about the lack of fresh updates and the misleading information. Boom. First day of the year, I get hit with a long message from the Royal High team saying that I accused them of, quote, personally gone out of their way to make your life, content creation process, and your gameplay difficult. I never said they directly targeted me, but I will say, and I'm sure a lot of Royal High YouTubers will agree, that the content creation process has been difficult during those two years of waiting for the new school. But the part that upset me the most was this. Some has gone as far as suggesting the language you made it sound as though we have scammed you by breaking our promises repeatedly. Thing is, I took accountability for choosing to spend my time on those videos, which I mentioned 2.6 minutes in. By saying some, they've had multiple staff review my case, but it seems that not a single one of them watched through a 3 minute 30 video. This that, that long message definitely took more than 3.5 minutes to write. And also they've said I've negatively spoken about them on multiple occasions, which is a lie because that was the only video I made critiquing them in my whole channel. Well, this, this will be the second, but honestly, I don't like making these kinds of videos. I like my fun content, you know, those where you spend hours working on a video, but you still get entertained when watching back. Reading this message felt like I was getting gaslit because after that, I actually went through all my videos to find what this other multiple occasions were, and I couldn't find any. But the one time I critiqued the lack of updates, it was seen as hating the game. I was given the option to fix my mistakes or get removed from the program. I didn't want to destroy my relationship with the game, so I just did what I was told because I didn't want to throw away years of effort for one petty issue. It was a hard decision whether or not to speak on this. Like, I didn't want to at first, but everything just spiraled out and it really frustrated me for months. There, there's a lot of things I wanted to bring up and talk about after that experience, but I, I felt like I couldn't because I was really, really scared. So yeah, that's there was communication to the developer team, but that's how it was like behind the scenes. Royal High developers, I understand that it is difficult. It takes time to make change, it's, and there will always be people who are not satisfied with your decisions. But if you deny and hurt those who try to support you, if, if you see anything that isn't a compliment as straight up hate, then how are you going to make the changes necessary for a healthy community again? Like, 
all the, all of this doesn't <laughs> just hurt the game. Us creators, players, everything is suffering from it. Anyways, one year later, I finally got a response and there wasn't really an apology, but I'm fine with it because I've put that behind before and I am willing to forgive if our opinions are actually being considered. The best apology is change. Seems like they're finally starting to make, you know, changing the team and all of that, but only time will tell. On the topic of change, I would like to make a few suggestions. There is, there's just way too many that needs to be improved on, and this definitely does not cover all of them. But first off, just most importantly, mending the relationship between the team and the creators. Because so much that the creators do for the player base to keep people engaged. So just the relationship is so important. Even those were that were hurt the most, like, you know, Call Me Haley, Not Lukash. They've done so much for the community and it's just sad to see the way that they were dismissed. And even if they don't plan on returning, they still deserve proper closure for all that they have done. And also, like, for the creators who don't want to focus on making frequent content on Royal High anymore, don't remove their badge as if they never existed. I don't see the point of it because it just feels disrespectful. As long as the creator wants to, it doesn't hurt to keep their badge in the game because there are there, there's also so many creators who haven't made RH content in years but they still have their badge while others who recently left don't. So it just sets up this double standard and game aspects it's just not really playable. Yes, it's pretty and all, but there isn't much to do. Like, you got a school with one class, more interactive content, not just slicing some pretty builds. And three, make Royal High more beginner friendly. Put more diamonds in the starter pack, I don't know, more items. Just make it easier for someone who's playing it for the first time. Because as time goes on, people will grow out of the game and it will die if there aren't new players joining. Also, the diamond system, it, it's just getting out of hand. Like, the prices of items are just ridiculously high. And it's probably too late to lower them because that'll definitely make a lot of players and value traders upset. But maybe like make diamond farming easier let let gems and you know the fountain give more diamonds because right now even with all the multiplier game passes it takes so long to buy items many players without game passes would just quit the game before they farm enough for their dream item because it's just not accessible for lots of people obviously there's just so much more i can't recall off the top of my head but there's definitely enough out there for the developers to see and make change like cultural aspects inclusivity all of that for me, well, going forward, I've had a long thought about this. I still want to create Royal High content. Like, I have a few videos already made and waiting to be posted, so those will be released. And um, we've lost so many great creators in the past week. I think it's unfair to the players who simply enjoyed the game and just having to watch everything crumble. So I still want to be there for them. Honestly, I also want to play other Roblox games. So I will be taking a step back from Royal High, not completely, but I will be mixing in other games as well, at least until hopefully the situation gets better. Please let me know what other games you'd like to see me play, and I hope you guys would support me in other content I make.